Speaker, yesterday the House Working Group for, met for the first time on Medicaid issues. Yes, bipartisan. Um, is there anything moving beneath the surface, or is it likely that this could come up um, as, a, I guess, a separate piece of legislation, or is there a chance it could still be added back into the budget? We've, uh, I meet uh, every week with the President of the Senate. <clears throat> At this point, <laughs> they're in the same boat we were for a long time. That is, uh, the governor just sends such a quantity of stuff that uh, I, I cannot, and I don't believe he would want to try either, to predict uh, what their calendar looks like. Obviously, we have to get something done by uh, June 30. And, uh, but whether this will be in a uh, position where we can do something with it or not, uh, we don't really know. And what would you personally like to see come out of this working group? I know there's a big emphasis on uh, employment and linking people to, to ladders to get off of, um, you know, entitlement programs. Right. So what exactly are you hoping lawmakers will get out of this? Well, I, I would hope that uh, as we look at it, uh, one of the things that's been going on in our caucus now for about uh, two and a half, three months has been an effort to uh, make suggestions about what ought to be done in a uh, medical plan that would be appropriate to the people of the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't believe that the plan that is in front of us as a result of the governor's reference is appropriate. And we are looking for uh, departures from that. And uh, we have a lot of things that have come up and are in front of us. Uh, we particularly have been looking at some of those entities that exist uh, to provide help to people who presently don't have any medical coverage of any kind. <clears throat> we are looking at uh, programs that would affect uh, the, the uh, mentally ill and uh, alcoholics. Uh, we are looking at uh, what the impact may be on people who have all different kinds of background problems. And so that's one thing. We also are looking at a number of organizations that are providing help to people in Ohio right now who are not part of the uh, medical, formal medical service. There are people who are uh, funding and providing medical care across the state, particularly more rural areas. Uh, so. We're trying to figure out what is the whole gamut mm -hmm. uh, that we can be looking at to bring together and to be helpful in solving the uh, medical problems. 